Bonjour and welcome to my channel. After months of not posting anything in my lab, I decided to go back in the lab to do a small project. What I want to do today is to upgrade my 3D printer by converting it from a pusher to a puller by installing the stepper motor that pushes the plastic on top of the head and rethink the spool holder. So let's dive in. First, let's check at the actual setup. As you can see here, the filament goes through the sensor and is pushed by the stepper motor that is here instead of on the head. I want to convert it to a direct drive. And I found a website that explains exactly that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So I ordered the components and started to proceed installing them. Let's take a look at the time lapse. Okay, now that the direct drive conversion is complete, let's draw, print and set up the new spool holder. Okay, let me introduce the design that I made. First of all, I have a metal rod. It's green, but anyway, I didn't change the color. I draw um, one of the spools that I have and if I just hide it for the moment uh, everything was based on ball bearings so I'm gonna have many ball bearings two of them are used by one pulley as you can see here the pulley will turn using the two ball bearings and the other pulley too now the center is a little bit too big for the rod that I have so I had to design kind of a fitting inside to support the rod and to allow the ball bearing to freely turn around so this is what I made here as you can see there are a couple of shoulders here that are supposed to be uh, squeezed between the two ball bearings I have two of them I split it in two parts because I just want to make sure that the length of this spool is not too long I don't want it to break over time if, it, if I use big spools. So I wanted to include uh, center ball bearings and this is the way I've made it, okay? And I replicated this design four times, mirrored it. So first of all, let me show you. So this, this is the design that I made. I made it so no matter the size of the spools can freely turn over these two uh, pulleys if I can call them pulleys. Okay, let's say I have a smaller spool. Uh, it's gonna sit between the two uh, pulleys here, but if I have a little, little bit bigger one, because I have many sizes, uh, it's gonna sit here, and the biggest uh, spool will also fit between um, these hedges. Now, when the spools will turn, they will turn a small uh, detector that I have right here, and I intend to make a circuit with a LED and a photodiode on the other side. So the, the LED will be installed on this side and the photodiode on the other side. And when the big spool will turn, it will turn the small pulley that will turn this detector and will flash the light. So I'm gonna count the, the flashes. The goal, the goal is to be able to detect if the, if the filament is moving. I already have a filament detector, but the filament detector is only useful when the spool is finished. But I encounter a couple of times troubles with the plugging of my head. 
and when the head is clogged I want to be notified very rapidly so I can react rapidly by stopping the print, repairing the clogging and restarting the print. Just like when the spool is finished. I just want to be notified when the spool does not turn at all. So this is the design that I made. I'm actually printing all the parts. So let's continue. Okay, now that the design and the print are finished, let's put all the pieces and parts together. Okay, let's check at the final result. As you can see, we have the stepper motor right here on the head instead of where it was before, right here. No more Bojan tube, now we have electric wires held by these two elastic held by the plywood. The plywood is held in place by these screws that I passed through the structure with a washer. I have another screw on the other side. And let's take a look at the sensor. You can see here this the hole. You can see my finger through the hole, so it's gonna block the light perfectly. And it turns very, very well. It's very smooth. I place the micro switch here to detect if the filament is finished temporarily. So this ends the video for today. You can see the whole setup that I made. I'm ready to print new things, so stay tuned and subscribe and share this video if you like it. See you next time. Bye!